PowerColor started using a new thermal paste application method. The famous overclocker Dare 8 Hour had the opportunity to visit the PowerColor factory and observe the video card assembly process up close. Such tours are not usually held for ordinary users, but it seems that the company had nothing to hide. In addition, part of the tour shows how PowerColor has improved the process of applying thermal paste. The company clearly wanted to show what changes were implemented after recent reports of overheating issues in its graphics cards. The company has been known to have questionable methods for applying thermal paste to its Radeon RX 7900 series accelerators, which may have caused GPU temperatures to rise. The process that was done manually has now been replaced by more sophisticated methods. The company currently uses stencils a process that produces a uniform layer of paste on the chip, although it is still done by hand. But the overclocker also revealed a new machine that is currently being tested that can do this task automatically. The video itself is intriguing for GPU enthusiasts. Companies like PowerColor rarely give full access to their production to protect expensive high-tech equipment, prevent possible leakage of confidential information, and simply because they use processes that other companies have not yet implemented. In any case, this video is a must-see for those who have never seen how graphics cards are made. Of course the GPU itself is not made by power color. In fact, in the video you can see how the GPUs are delivered to the assembly line and how strict the temperature and humidity requirements are for such components. A particularly interesting part of the video is the testing process before packaging for shipping to stores and warehouses. The cards selected from each batch are tested for 24 hours. Based on the video, PowerColor uses four stress test applications, Unigen Heaven, Firmark, 3DMark 13, and 3DMark 06. Presumably because each software offers different types of workloads, which PowerColor has identified as most likely. While these tests are running, PowerColor collects data on GPU temperature, fan speed, GPU and memory clock speeds, and voltages.